I don't know if I'm gonna post this or not. Um, I got a new doll today, of course. Um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about like where my uh, doll journey is going. So it started out, I just wanted to get um, like the dolls that I wanted when I was a kid. And um, one thing that I guess probably makes me different with most doll fans is that um, I was kind of afraid of dolls my whole life, um, except for like Barbies and like certain name brand popular ones. Like I always wanted a an American Girl doll, um, but didn't get one for whatever reason. And um, sorry, my neighbors are being loud. Um, but uh, I still have my black doll here from the other day when I was cleaning up. But, um, so I've just been like really heavily researching like what's out there in terms of dolls and I've been finding like amazing resources. Um, since I got my doll Felicity like a month ago and I'm just gonna do this later because my neighbors are listening and it's making me uncomfortable. But, um, I, um, got this doll at Kirsten because um, I just always wanted her and um, she was like my look-alike doll from what was available when um, I was a kid like in the 90s and um, they had girl of today dolls that's what I think they called like the just like you back then and um, I just didn't like those as much like I thought Kirsten's hair was more like silvery and cooler. I just thought she was cooler looking than the girl of today. Um, my eyes aren't blue though, but um, the reason I like this doll, she had a lot of interest. I got her on Mercari and um, I got her for really cheap. The seller was nice about it. Um, she does need some repairs. So I'm not expecting like, as usual, I'm not expecting like a perfect doll. That's not even what I'm looking for, I guess. Um, something about her just like drew me in, I guess. I think it was something about her eyes because they kind of look like they're silvering. Like I was hesitant to get um, a Kirsten or a Molly because I don't like what happens to their eyes. Like I don't want to worry about having to swap their eyes and I just didn't know if it was worth it. I would rather just get a Samantha or um, Felicity or whatever and not have that problem. But um, hers were silvering kind of evenly and they looked kind of pretty. And I guess this is the test where um, we'll see if the picture matches real life. But to me, she kind of had like that silver, like long hair that the, um, Kirsten's in the 90s had, so, um, yeah, I'm excited to see if she really looks like that, and I'm kind of nervous, because this is, like, my, the doll I probably would have been given, because she looks like me, um, but, yeah, she just looked really cute, like, in her picture, like, little hands out, and, um, so yeah, uh, and, um, okay, I'm just gonna do it, I don't wanna look at it more. It's wrapped. Mm. Smell the new dolls. Oh, I can see them. I like how 
her, I can already see that her grades are darker than the normal. I don't like that golden blonde. Because I always, like, if you can't tell, that's my hair color. I grew up in the Midwest, so like, I guess, I think that's why I kind of have like some kind of affinity for Kirsten and Molly. And now I wasn't really a big Molly fan. Or really a big Kirsten fan, but. I think Kirsten's always cute. The legs go loose, but I can fix that. I got a cat for that. Pleasant company. Hi, Katie. She's really cute. Her legs are really loose. Let's see, how they? Yeah, I really need to fix her legs and maybe her arms too. But she's adorable. Her braids aren't as thick as I remember, but you can. I think I'm gonna put them back like they always were. I can't really tell where she's from. She doesn't have a body size. Um, the seller said she was in bad shape. She said that she's like coming in loose, but I don't see that. Um, she has soft, squishy limbs, squishy face. Wow, uh, exceeded my expectations. I got this doll for such a reasonable price. Um, and I really don't even see the, the silver in, so um, I'll have to see about this. The blue eyes are pretty. I can see why people would like them, but I've always been a little wary of them because of the silver in. It just kind of freaks me out, but um, another thing I was going to talk about is that I was kind of, like, as I'm getting into these dolls and I'm just like, my adult side is like realizing that they all kind of have the same mold like I've been looking for an Addy but she's really hard to it's hard to get a good one that I want I want one from um Germany before like uh, pre Mattel and um they're always I'm always getting outbid on eBay for her and she's really popular um so we'll see if I can get one but in the meantime um I've been like researching dolls that kind of appeal more to my like adult side. Like I've got into the history of this company and um, the, I think it's Gotts, the company that made her. I've been researching them and I think um, I'm going to show some things that I just got um, that I really loved. So, um, yeah, they're not American Girl dolls, but they're like the, the equivalent for like adult me. So, um, and this is kind of weird. Looks like she has a new string. Uh, I don't know if the seller cut the string because in the picture it was longer. That makes me mad. I don't. I do not like short strings at all. Um, but 
Yeah, I just had one of those last night. But, um, she doesn't look as, like, pale as the original ones. I don't think she has. I don't know, it's hard to tell when she's had, but she isn't squishy and her body is like nicer than I thought it would be. Um, it looks like kind of primitive print on her. I don't know if you can see it on her stamp. But not like huge print so i'm not the best at like knowing what that means or anything but um happy to have her um i don't have any clothes for her right now so i was thinking of just like making clothes from her era myself and um seeing how that goes i don't know if i should like take her braids out i know that's like something you're not supposed to do with her, but, um, I'm just gonna look cute like this. Anyway, I'm gonna have fun with her. Obviously, I need to fix her limbs, though. That's a big issue, but I'm happy to have her. I've always, like, just was, like, a coming full circle, so, well, thanks for watching, see ya.